Hi, welcome back. In this part, I want to take a look at creating this style of wall panel. Now, this will be a fairly quick part because this kind of thing is really easy to make. Uh, just a few basic techniques to kind of pull in these shapes here. So I'm going to start with a polygon cube. And really, I'm just going to scale it up till it's approximately the size I want it. So I'm going to model this kind of shape. Now, you'll see I'm not taking too much care with this. That's because it's really easy to change the dimensions on this after we're done. So, you know, I get it approximately right. And then I'll come in, especially when I'm placing it in the room, see what kind of size I actually need. All right. So we start here. And as I said, this is going to be fairly quick. So we go to our tutorial shelf. I'm going to select this first face. I'm just going to extrude it. Okay, so I want to click this uh, scale handle here, which will give me a universal scale. And first things first, let's make this outside lip. So when you come in, I'm just going to scale that in until it's the right size to be the outside lip. Then I'm going to hit G again, click the scale handle, and do another extrusion. And what I can see in the image is there's a small gap and then another lip. So let's hit G, extrude, okay, and that will be the geometry for our other lip. So we'll have an extrusion, a gap, and an extrusion. And then from what I can see here, there's another bigger lip. So let's hit G once again to extrude. And come in, make a slightly larger gap, G again, okay, and then we've got a big long kind of sloping surface up. G again, and finally we've got a square piece in the middle. All right, so this gives us some nice geometry. We can now start extruding. So let's take a look at this one here first. So I'm just going to go to face mode, click this one, double click this one, then go to extrude, which we can get up here. We can also shift uh, right click, extrude face, put the connection handle in the middle, and just pull it out. Okay, now we'll look at making it slope in a second, but first let's just get all the extrusions we need. So let's extrude this one, G to repeat the last command, of course, and let's just extrude it out. Now you can, of course, spend more time learn, lining this up so it's a bit better than I'm doing here. And then we've got a large gap here, and then we start in with what looks like kind of a long slope upwards. So I'm just going to extrude all these faces at once, actually, because they're all elevated. So there we go. I'm going to extrude them outwards like so. And then I'm just going to take this middle one here, G to extrude again, and extrude it out a bit further. And the same with these that are going around. OK, so there's the basic kind of shape of our wall panel. As you can see, it's got very similar extruded pieces to this. The problem is that these are nice and slopey, and ours are not. So if we wanted to, say, slope this a bit, what we can do is come in here, go to Edge Mode. I'm just going to select all the way around this top edge by double-clicking it. Hit R to scale, and just scale it in a little bit. Same with this one, and scale it in a little bit. See, and this gives us there the slope. So now we can do the same with these edges. So R to scale, and in a bit. There we go. And you can then decide how much of a slope you want to put on these. OK, with something like this big long one here, we can do sort of a big slope in. OK, and one last slope on this middle piece. Just have to select those ones manually and pull it inwards. Okay, so that's kind of created the basic shape of our wall panel. Now it's too fat, obviously, so we can go to Vertex and just grab these back four and push them inwards. All right, so that's created our wall panel shape. It's nice edges and everything else. Let's have a look here, make sure we've got nothing wrong. Okay. No, this is looking fine to me. Now, you can, in order to have this catch the light a little better, we can come in and take edges around here and bevel. Okay, so do this for all of the hard edges. 
and that one should actually be okay again this comes down to how close you're going to see it beveling the edges will definitely help the render engine catch the light okay so you can start to see a little more definition in this panel now you know you might want to play about with the with the spacing and the sizing of these sort of indentations these pleats and of course you can universally scale it to make it you know more accentuated or less accentuated depending on your needs at the time you can also as i said the reason i didn't pay too much attention to how wide or how tall this was very easily change it just by taking the vertex from here and you know now i have a square panel now i have a more kind of upright panel so depending on your room um you know how much uh how much kind of detailing you need you know we're done and you can come in and if you want say more sloping edges here so just select this one scale and the techniques pretty similar you can scale this out now to give me a bigger slope inwards there we go that looks better okay so making this kind of shape here for a wall panel as i said very very simple um, again you can spend some time kind of doing a better bevel and sloping your edges a bit more neatly depending on what you need for your actual room okay so last thing um, and i'm going to do this quite a lot what i like to do when i finish modeling this is save a working version so you know i'll just save scene as second folks my hard drive and i'll just save this as a wall pan working so i've got one version with all the history on it in case i need to come back and change it now i'm going to send the pivot i'm going to delete the history so delete by type history and then i'm going to just export this export selection and i'll call this wall pan final that way it's ready to import in my final scene when we get you know down to putting this all together so i told you this part would be quick and indeed it was so i hope you found that slightly useful and i will see you in the next part thanks for watching